I first heard the phrase Khalistan Zindabad from a client of mine who was seeking safety in this country, political asylum, from India. In that business, you have to find out what people's ideas are to represent them in the courts against refusals of asylum. But what was important was, one of them said to me, anywhere I go in India, I'm under threat. I'm harshly treated, the federal police particularly. Really, there's no safety anywhere in India for me as a Sikh who wants to protect myself as a Sikh, who wants to respect for my religion, the right to live quietly. He told me he was not particularly militant, but he just felt unsafe in India. And I thought that was really shocking. And I think there's a lot in common between um, what's happening in Britain at the moment, when particularly Muslims are really being targeted by a mixture of fascists on the ground and government agency. And we know that it's not about religion, it's about race. That's absolutely clear. I had a friend, a close friend, who was a refugee from Pinochet's Chile. He's a left-wing Chilean. He was mixed race in the sense that his ancestors were both American Indian and Spanish. Educated man, arrested, escaped, got out. And he spent some time in North Vietnam, some time in East Germany. Eventually came to this country. And he, I was saying to him, how did he find this country? He said, well, he enjoyed it, but it was very racist. I said, how do you know? He says, well, look at me, light brown skin, hawk-like face, but what treatment do I get in the streets? I'm abused as a packy, but I'm not. I'm from Latin America. That can only be about race. And of course, he was absolutely right. And that threatens all of us. There's no two ways about it. Me, I'm a socialist for the trade unionists, and I know that the fascist front and the government, once they have dealt with the obvious enemy, will come from the trade unionists, the Democrats, the socialists, the liberals. We have to stop them now. Now. Thank you very much.